We came here the other night. We had some really weird things happen. The REM pod does not go off very often, but it was going off like crazy. This time, everything is completely different. Everything has changed. What? Oh my God. What? Hang on, stop right there. Stop. This little window at the bottom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Nice game. Nice game? Nice game. It literally just it's said nice, nice game. game. Bye. Everybody say bye. 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 What's up everybody, my name's CJ Faison. First and foremost, welcome to my channel. Second of all, welcome to another late night scary adventure that I'm taking all of you on, but this time everything is completely different. Everything has changed. We've been here in the Outer Banks for the past couple of days and I wanted to take you all and some special guests on a haunted adventure. Now, there's a lot of it just, I would say eerie, type of stories that you can go look up. If you just look up Outer Banks, North Carolina, you can find a ton of stuff online. But tonight, I don't have Sonny with me. I don't have Dylan. I don't have Chris or anybody like that. I've actually got blood-related family with me and I cannot be even more excited. So I'm gonna introduce you to a couple of people here. This is my makeshift family here. Um, <laughs> Y'all look like you're posing for a picture. <laughs> so. They, uh, so my Aunt Pam and Uncle Mike, they're actually all the way from Arizona. They flew in for this family vacation and I figured what would be a better way to break everybody into the vacation than take them on a ghost hunt. So we came here the other night. We had some really weird things happen. We did a REM pod session. As most of you know who are subscribed to this channel, the REM pod does not go off very often, but it was going off like crazy. And for me, I was very stupid but not recording all of this for all of you that are gonna be watching. So tonight is completely different. We have multiple multiple locations that we're headed to. But the first one I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you is the lighthouse. This is the Outer Banks Lighthouse here in Hatteras. I'm gonna go infrared mode so you all can take a look at this thing. And there is a ton of history around this. There's actually a museum and there's a couple of different little spots around here that we saw the other night that we wouldn't go back and just kind of check out. So without any further ado, hit that subscribe button. We got a lot of walking to do. What'd you just say? The walk on the dead people. <laughs> this is the original. Wait, these were all the lighthouse keepers. These oh. were. This was the original. Oh, foundation. you're not kidding. This is actually yeah. their grave. No, no. It's, not. it's the original no. foundation. Oh, okay. Stone. This is what the lighthouse used to sit on. Okay. Other location. And the dates are every lighthouse keeper. Oh gosh. From the 1800s on. That's creepy. Yeah. I thought she was serious. We're walking on dead people right now. <laughs> she said, no, it's later in the night. I don't know. You want to go in the woods? <laughs> so we do have a couple of things here. Uh, my sister, Brittany, sorry, the light is bright. It takes a little bit to get used to. She's got the REM pod. We are going to be using that tonight. Uh, Aunt Shelly's got the spirit box here. Um, Pam, she's just going to piss everybody off, including the ghost. <laughs> Oh, Shelly, Shelly, Shelly. <laughs> you want me to scream? Yeah. Shelly, how come you're sp right, over here is the police tape. There's police tape over here? In this woods right here. Oh, please. At least there was yesterday. <laughs> sure was. Is it foggy out? My no, contact. spirits. It seems a little foggy. No. Especially yeah. after. Yeah. 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 It takes a little getting used to. There it is. See, there it is. Oh, there is police tape. What? <laughs> the hell's this thing? Oh, it's f water. <laughs> what the hell is that thing for? Why would you put a random ow, random faucet in the woods? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I wonder why there's caution tape. Oh, this is where people take dookies. No, I'm serious. Somebody wiped their ass over here. Yeah, there's caution tape all over this. This is weird. Huh. 
Oh, never mind. So, we're all having fun right now and everything, but it gets a little serious and a little weird, especially when we start doing these REM pod sessions and getting a little bit closer to this lighthouse. There's also two houses that are not far off from here, so. What's that? There's something in the woods? The red light's off? Yeah, there's no out. red light. No, All right. it's there, it's on still. It's, it's on the sand, light. but I yeah. don't see it in the middle. No, it's not on in the middle, is it? Nope. Oh yeah, we're gonna get arrested if we go in that, but. So the house on the right hand side is where the innkeeper stayed and this over here is a museum. Both of these, I need you all to pay attention in the background. If you see anything in the windows, comment below, let me know. But I'm telling you right now, there's people that swear that there's shadow figures walking in front of these windows and that you feel a presence when you get up here. So what we're going to do, the plan is to go up here, going to do a spirit box session right in front of these houses, get the rim pot out. We're pulling out all the stops tonight, trying to get as much evidence as we possibly can. A little bit different having my family around, but definitely makes me feel pretty good though. <laughs> Anybody else creeped out by the look of this house? I'm gonna highly doubt it. There's a red light on in that house over there though, definitely. Yeah, I said I thought that there was one. But it's not as bright. No, it's definitely not as bright as the other night. And the middle one's gone. Remember it's going off and on there? Well maybe it's because somebody was walking in front of it. All right, if we see something walk in front of that red light again, I'm out. yeah. Chicken. Damn right I am. So the other night when we were here, we saw something walk in front of that window. And then in front of a window over there to the left where you're all seeing right now. So um, Uncle Mike does not talk to spirits it, it's it's just a thing that he does not do so here's what we're gonna do Brittany let's set up that rim pod all right so here's what we're gonna do does somebody live here or no no okay are we sure that's what yeah. they said that's what these old people said that were you really trust old people walk around the park? <laughs> Listen, they've been here many times. Yeah. They have? Yes. No, you sure? Yes, they have. And they said that this was the caretaker's house. And then that house, I forget what it was, but now it's a museum type thing. So we're Fair here. enough. That you can go in during season, but not off season. Oh, okay. Both of them. So that, make, that makes no sense why we saw somebody walk in front of that window then. Oh, I think we know exactly but what I we saw. But I think that museum, from what I read somewhere, is supposed to have lots of spirits in it. All right. Well, let, let's try a REM pod session out here. And uh, I'm going to break out the necrophonic. All right. <clears throat> so if this goes off like this, or any type of beep, it means that there is a spirit around it. So if there's any spirits here with us tonight... It sounded like a baby. I did too. That was a car. It was tail lights. Okay, but that like sounded right like here. a baby. Yeah, but coming here? No, the road's right there. It's okay. To get what, into here? What was the no, no, noise? No, no, the main road is right there. No, but there was, there was a light through the woods, though. Yeah, right through the... Aunt Pam? 
am saying that the road's right on the other side. Yeah, we're okay. And Uncle Mike left the keys in the car. Yes. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's probably our car leaving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that haunted deer got in there and okay. drove off. Phone is in there. Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh my gosh. I have my phone now, thank God. I've got mine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the uh, wait, but I'm still with Brittany. What was the noise? I don't know. Go? We're gonna ask. We're gonna ask. This is what this is all about. Asking question. So I think Uncle Mike is trying to look through the windows right now. All right, we got the rim pod set up. Uh, my name's CJ. I'm Rachel. Pam. Brittany. Shelly. And uh, we're here. We're gonna tell you that you're not allowed to follow us back, but you are allowed to communicate with us. We're just gonna ask a couple of quick questions. We're very inquisitive about all of this. Not meaning any disrespect by being here. Are there any spirits here with us right now? Can you can you speak? We are. If y'all hear anything, call it out. Hmm. Are, are there any spirits within a thirty foot radius of us right now? Seven. Can you say one of our names? Go. Where do you want us to go? Oh. There we go. Can you touch that? Stop. Why do you want us to stop? Go over, go over to this device right here and touch that for me. Mom. Mom. <gasps> baby. That was a baby that we heard. It said baby again. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's weird. Where is the baby? Is there a baby here? Did you hear it beep beep when you said that? Go over there and touch that. Make that thing go off. Keep on touching it. Can you tell me your name? There it goes. Move. Where do you want us to move to? Do you want us to move closer? Kid. Do you want us to move closer to that device? You. So you want me to? Did you just say you're mad? I thought you said ask questions. Keep moving. Do you Where? want all of us to get closer? No. <laughs> Can you say any of our names? That sounded like Pam. It did. It did sound a little bit like Pam. Did you say Pam? Did anybody die here in this area? All right, so I'm gonna stop that and I'm not gonna end it by saying goodbye because we're gonna try and tie stuff. I say we go over to here. That was weird. I think you should ask him to sit in the rocking chair. No, we weren't here. That thing was screaming. It, yeah, it was, it was going off like crazy. crazy. Yeah. Why are you holding me? Maybe it's camera shy. She thinks I'm going to run away. Oh, I, th I thought I forgot. That. She started to, and I was like, <laughs> well, he said that thing like will only go off if they're actually touching it. It's not like wave your hand over it or something, yeah. so nobody can be making it. That thing was screaming. So when I was behind the house, 
It sounded like all of your noise was coming from that house. It's real weird. That is weird. Did heard, you hear? Yeah, I just heard something. He like, heard the baby. The baby. The baby. But it, to me, it sounded like it was coming from that direction. So that's weird. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's all get close to the house here. Let's see. Can you come to this rocking chair? Is there anything sitting in this rocking chair? Can you could you possibly uh? I don't know why, I just feel really weird right here. I'm just looking in the windows. I know, me too. Can you imagine if we saw a face in that window? Oh, I'd be gone. Oh my gosh. You can't leave me because I can't run. Shelly, hop on Mike's back. <laughs> Every man for themselves. I say we go over to this house yeah. here. I feel weird at this one, but it's like this. That like, one's pulling us. I get chills like just looking at this. I like I, I'm actually genuinely creeped out right now. But I have a question. Why would somebody have a baby out here this late at night? Nobody. I, I just... Why are you talking about this late at night? You know what? That could have been a fox. Because they sound just like babies. All right, let's 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 take a look at this house here. <laughs> I think it's safe to say this is creepy as hell. I immediately have goosebumps. Why not? Look up there in the windows. Could you imagine if we're looking up in one of those windows and one of those doors just slammed shut? Yes, what is that thing? Yeah, what is that? Are they watching? It looks like a vacuum. In that right window? A camera or a vacuum? One of the two. <laughs> They're either filming us or vacuum cleaning us. Who's <laughs> fucking <laughs> us up? What's that sound on the door? Yes, it was. Oh my God! All right, let's do this and let's go to the sidewalk. Why is he got to leave us? Because he's doing so well. We're supposed to jump from his back. Oh shit! What the sorry, sorry. It's just a horn. It's just a car horn. What was that? Uh, Uncle Mike, are you a little worried? Because I am now. About what? But a car horn. We're not really by. I forget that you all don't do this. It's that van. Oh god, no, I'm out. You know what, CJ? I don't know why, but this area over here is super creepy to me right in here. I don't know. Oh, why. yeah. I don't know what vibe is, but it's just. It looks like a concrete thing. I think it's a well. Is it a well? I know, I thought they were legs. I thought they were legs. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I was swimming. I thought I was using a flashlight. <laughs> okay. The red light that's in here is there an exit sign? But what happened to the one that was down there? The that's a light? really good question. <laughs> so let's do something here. We're going to go infrared mode here because there's just too much light. I mean, like, genuinely, we need to. Alright. No, no. Stop, 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 stop. You don't need this? Alright, so something now just pay attention to this. There. This here is gonna be a determining factor because some spirits are not attracted to light. They're <sighs> Alright. Y'all ready for this one? Much oh my right. gosh, yeah, because we could see it from way over there. It made bright. Both of them were brighter. And it almost looked like they were out on the porch. I thought they were on the porch. Exactly. And then they were upstairs, too. But right. how those lights are back behind things, like inside the house, how did we all see something move in front of it together? I mean, how? There's nothing here. We all look at it. I don't know. There's, there's movement there, back there behind us somewhere. <laughs> I'm getting in the middle of everybody. You're <laughs> crazy. We have to protect the mama. Yeah. 
All right, well, good and bad news. The rim pod's not going off. The good news is let's go ahead and do a spirit box session. Okay. And Pam, I want you to ask a question. Think of a question as soon as we start this off. Hang on, let me You can ask. Something. It can be anything. It can be how did you die? Did you, were you killed here? Anything you want. How old are you? Okay. Whatever. All right. All right, you got it? Mm hmm All right, go ahead and ask. How long have you been here? And is there anything you want to tell us? Any message? Is there anybody that wants to communicate? Sound. Okay. There's definitely a sound that came from that way. I don't know what it was, but... Inside. What's inside? Did it say red? The lights going? You see it? Yes, yeah. it's over there. Well, no, there's two, and the one over no, here is off. The one over here. It is? But something could be standing in front of that window and that's why we don't see it. Yeah, because the red should be shining through that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, normally it, it seems is. darker than it was. Is there anything, are we in danger by being here right now? <laughs> hide. Why do we need to hide? Kill. Okay. Angry. Who's angry? I literally think it said Pam again. Why does this thing keep saying my name? It did the other night, and now this is twice tonight. Why? Is there something attached to Pam? Demon. It said demon. It did not, did it? Yes, it did. What is your name? Henry. Henry? That was very clear, Henry. Are we safe right now, or is Pam in danger? Do you all not hear that coming from that other house? And you know what's crazy? That REM pod right there is been on, and ain't nothing... What? What was that? I don't know. What? You okay? You shouldn't break. <laughs> Did you too? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. It's it's so Thanks. So, what do y'all say we walk to the lighthouse? Let's walk around the house. And down I don't want to go in the back of this Let's house. Back no. of I'm already scared to be in the front. I'm going. You ain't leaving me here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be on the end. I'll be on the end. Yeah, yeah. You're stuck with demons. I don't want to be by you. <laughs> I do not have demons attached to me. Bullshit. Look how I act. Look at that bathing suit. No, I think he was trying to say you are a demon. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, you are it. <laughs> what? Black right there in front of us. It's just a bush. It's a tree. It's a tree. I look, I can see it through here. But it's little. Sure. It's Christmas tree. Is it Charlie back? Oh, it's not good. The other night that thing kept saying my name, and tonight it's said it twice. Have you ever, like, thought that it's something was following you, Aunt Pam? Like, for yeah. real? Yeah. I don't really like that I mean, we're back here. Like there's something there. <laughs> but I've never I'm felt like uncomfortable. What's that? I'm sure you be my over here. Jesus! What? Oh my God. What? What? Hang on, stop right there. Stop. This middle window at the bottom. 
Voilà. Listen for footsteps. Now that's motion right there. But out of the corner of my eye, it looked like there was just a silhouette like at the window, like three feet back from the window. Great spirits out here with us. You know what's weird to me, though, yo? Is that this house here, when we were out here, it sounded like noises were inside that house. Like, I kept hearing something like knocking or like just, just like it was movement inside that house, but I feel creepier over here like I feel like more danger over here I think because yesterday we saw all that stuff at this house yeah, so right. we're probably already creeped out by it so for everybody back home watching drop a comment right now on what your opinion is of this place so far because according to me it's great. Looks like my sister Brittany can go up right now. Don't blame her. Can we say goodbye? Yeah, we should probably end up saying goodbye. Let me snag a picture really fast. This to me, like when you have a bigger group of people, I feel like one or two things can happen. There's either way more activity or way less. The other night we had the same amount of people but it was, in my opinion, like, this feels twice as creepy. Yeah. Much brighter these lights on now. Yeah, how are those bright, how, that's impossible. How are those lights brighter? I don't understand that. They were not that bright when we were standing right in front of them. No. And when we leave, they get brighter. Wow. You see that? Oh. And before, we didn't even see the one on the left until uh -oh. we got right up there. Yeah. You know what I love and I've never understood? Every person I've ever been in the car with, like if the radio's turned up loud and they're trying to look for something, they turn it down. Like you yeah. make like you could what? Yeah, like makes you helps you better. see better. Like <laughs> yeah. My dad, he used to get so mad at me. He's like, turn radio down so we can see. I'm like, that don't make any sense whatsoever. Put your glasses on to answer the phone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Look at this lighthouse, though. That thing's 198 feet tall. Wow, it's taller than me. And they moved it in its entirety. They didn't take it apart. Wait, what? Yeah, they rolled it here on <coughs> logs. Just about 15 years ago, these people were telling us that they it was over by the jetty. And Wait, you're serious? No, yeah. I'm dead they serious. They rolled that thing? They, mm -hmm. Kind of like the ancient Egyptians did with stones for the pyramids. They rolled it. It took them days to get it, it was, here. They were built by the aliens. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's another video for another day. But they rolled this whole thing here, and it took them days to get it here. But Larry doesn't think it's real. Yeah, Larry thinks it's, it's paper mache. <laughs> paper mache? Mm -hmm. Okay. Survives hurricanes. <laughs> <laughs> the beach houses do not. <laughs> okay, 
You know what creeps me out is that that little. Spot, Did you see something? The bottom yes. was screaming the other night. Screaming everywhere we went. Yep. And tonight it's just like, no. I'm like not just dead silent. Yeah. Wasn't it silent. here where the Morse code thing was? Yeah, it was in the woods uh, over there. It was That's right. this way a little ways. I wonder if they just don't want to be on camera. What the hell? Look back at the house. You don't even see the lights. Yeah, I mean, they the other night. Like they were out on the porch. They really did. Let me ask you, was it over fast and not almost a full moon? No, it was almost a full moon. Yeah, it was the same thing. I heard that clunking over here. Mike, I heard it too. Yeah. What? There's a clunk in here. A clunk? I hear something up ahead. Yeah. So I keep the camera facing forward. Take me back here. <laughs> We're walking a line. No, because somebody's got to be last. Mike! <laughs> Volunteer Mike. No, it was up here. It was up here, lady. See, now you see the red lights again. I just don't understand. I, it doesn't make much sense. Is the light on at her car? Yeah, there's not even light on in the car. What? There's a light on in the car. Is that the car? Yeah. Oh, uh, hang on, they're freaking out about something back here. Oh, Lady for me. Come on, Aunt Helly. No, it was up here on our right. Are you sure? Yeah, positive, 100%. I, I, I know kind of around about, because as soon as we came out of the car, we, we dipped right there too. Pam, is there light on in the car? Yeah, does it not look like there's a light on in the car, or is that I just think me? The, like, I think the it's the moonlight. Moon I really do think it's the okay. moonlight shining off that back window. CJ, why the hell do those things keep like talking about me? I, I don't know, can we just feel like, I, I feel a little weird that it keeps like Coming saying her me. name. Yeah, like two different nights, that this is now the third time it's specifically mentioned yep. me. You feel like there's anything weird around you right now? I, just, I feel creeped out by the woods. I didn't like it over by the back of the um, lighthouse, just like the other night. Same feeling? Yeah. I just didn't like it. And I feel like we're being watched. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like there's eyes on us and they're not human. Well, let's find them. I think we already have gone in. Huh? I feel like it was right there. I thought it was right back there.
I don't remember it being right here. Go back the other way. There's a massive ass spider web beside the Texas. There's another little trail back there. Yeah, let's try hit that. Here, this big opening here. But I could have sworn it was over there. But if they want to tell us something, they can tell us ten feet away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. CJ, do you ever, when you're out doing these things, get like where you feel nauseous or you get a bad headache or like just you get a physical change? Yeah, there. It's. I, I feel like it's a shift of energy. Yeah. Like okay. you feel like you're gonna get sick, and mm -hmm. that's a tail. That's a tall tale sign there. Just well, get I away. Sick back there. Did you really? Yes, but I don't feel sick like now that we've got away from it. It's in the same spot. It's no, like back at the house or the. Mm -hmm. I even told Teresa. Yeah. Really. She did. I said I'm nauseous. I thought it was sneaky and scared, but I'm not. All right, well, I'm going to back away from it here. All right, Aunt Shelly, we're going to use this thing here. We're going to we're gonna try a little bit of a different method here. For everybody watching at home, this is the uh, SB11 Spirit Box. This, when you when you hear the Necrophonic app, it, ha it cuts out all this ch 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 but the EVPs that come through here can sometimes be longer. A lot of the uh, Necrophonic app is one or two word type of answers um, just because it's going through an electronic device which is a phone. So it takes a little bit more energy. This takes less energy to talk through, but um, we could get a little bit crazier answers here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna change my sweep rate to 250 for everybody who wants to do this back home. We'll turn the volume up. Are there any spirits here with us right now? Listen. Things going off. That's my fault. It is now. It it's is going off. There it is. It's like voices. You don't know what you heard? <laughs> Alright. Let's try this again here. There it is again. I definitely feel like I just heard something back there. Yeah, I do too. There it is. Oh, temperature's going off on this now. Alright, here we go. We're getting activity. We're going to ask some questions. Let me try this. Let me turn up the uh, volume. That one's going off. We're going to wait. There it is again. We're going to wait till this temperature goes off. Come touch this one. 
you're going to see this number here spike. If there's something here with us, you can communicate. Let us know you're in this area. Can you come touch this one? All right, I'm going to turn the volume up. There it is right there. Here we go. Hear it beeping? We're going up in temperature here. This thing's going crazy. That one's going crazy. Is there anything here with us that wants to communicate? Can you tell us your name? That one's going off now. This one's going off. My heart's doing that thing again. Like ch tight chest? Yeah. All right, in my opinion, a lot of you all have commented this before too. We're not getting anything through the spirit box, the SB11 here. It's almost like something wants to use a little bit more energy, wants to use a little bit more commutative. So I say we break out the Necrophonic app here and give this back to you. Obviously, so, something's around us right now. Here's something that uh, Pam and I noticed the other night when we were out here. We don't remember hearing crickets. Like it was dead quiet out yeah, there. Yeah, that is weird. That is and so tonight, true. Tonight wow. there were crickets all over the place. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I never even thought about it that. It was yeah. dead. Yes. Dead there was nothing. We also yeah, had this... Morse code come through that the other night I mean, in this location. Wow. It was insane. It was so creepy. All right, so I want to ask a question. Did anybody harm themselves that's around us right now? Me. How did you do it? How did you do it to yourself? Almost sound like with a knife. Could be. I don't know. Are any of us in danger here? Here we go. Something trying to communicate with us right now. No? This went dead, that went silent. What the hell? Yes, sir, how? Something, yes, sir, how? He was asking how you're doing. I'm doing good, how are you doing? Here we go. Chris. Mike? Oh my gosh. Can you say anybody else's names? Leave. Why do you want us to leave? Oh, Christ. Kill? Yeah, we're not here to harm you. Why do you want us to leave, though? Is that a second leave? Back home. You want us to go back home? Back. What was that? I don't know. That, that was a lot. Kid. It's the third time. Is there a kid out here? Is there a kid out here?
Is there a kid in this direction? No, me. What about this direction over here? Is there a kid in this direction? No? That sounded like a kid. What about this direction over here? Run. Why do you want us to run? Look up. Oh, I see a lighthouse and I see the top of the trees. What am I looking for? A face. Are you in the lighthouse looking at us? No. no. Yes. A no and a yes. Which one? Make up your mind. Can we spend the night here with you? Please. All right, I gotta ask you a question. Can you name somebody in my group? Can you name somebody? Rachel. Dead. Uh. Yeah, it's a little weird. There's no other wind except for that tree just started moving like that. It's like it came through the tree. That's crazy. It Children. Said to look up. And it said to look up. Is this the tree you're talking about? I got chills all over my I body. do too, but like especially like right here. It said, please help. Where do you need help at? Demon. Nope. That stopped. Are you good or evil? It's all like good. Good? Okay, that's good. Do you, do you want us to leave right now? What, what was that? Was what was that? that? Okay, yeah. What, what the f What was, was that? that? Hang on. What? You got your light, Uncle Mike? Yeah. What did you see? No, no, it, was, it, it, it sounded like a voice right back that way. And, no, like, the trees and stuff, too. Like something was back there. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. What the f was that? All right. You all heard that, right? Yes. I froze. It did. It sounded like waves talking. Could have been a bird, right? Yeah. Maybe. They told us to look up. Yeah, told us to look up. That's crazy to me. Your people are going to be like saying about sniffling and me because I've been crying this whole time. So apologizing now. That's a good thing. You can put that you know in. What? It told us to leave. I think we should. Yeah, yeah. Let's Wait, can we say bye? So we have to say bye. Yeah, yeah. Bye. That's a, No, no. You. No, no. We have to say it through the thing so uh, it doesn't. What, what's about so it doesn't what? Nothing follows us? Oh. Okay. Bye. Yeah, I do not want that. Hang on. We got to get the thing. We're all going to say bye, okay? It is so bye. All right. Bye. Everybody say bye. Bye. Thank you. You're not allowed to follow us, come with us, or anything. Okay? Done. Yes, we're done. We promise. Nice game. Nice game. It literally just it said, said nice, nice game. game. All right.
Thank you, Uncle Mike. You're welcome. Well, thank you, sir. I cannot believe it said that. That's crazy. You know what's weird? I don't remember this being all black the other night. Has it rained? Flashlight on. It never rained today, right? No. Why are these, look at this. I got moisture right on my fingers. I don't even remember there being gravel in here. Did we walk on gravel? I, God. And we didn't hear. So this here is a World War II British cemetery. And obviously, as you all know, if you watch my videos, I, have a very high respect for cemeteries. I really don't know cemetery etiquette, but I don't feel like there's anything wrong with being at a cemetery and paying your respects. Now, if you come through here and you're disrespectful or something along those lines, that's one thing. But, um, you know, the, these here are people who died in battle. So let's turn the light off for this car. I glad they went slow. Yeah, they did slow down. Probably a cop, and you think somebody's parking. Yeah. <laughs> and then Mike and Sam's getting in the car. Parking at the cemetery. <laughs> what, uh, yeah, what a place yeah, to go make out. It, right? All right, so I, I got a question, Aunt Pam. You were pretty much what I would consider to be targeted mm -hmm. so far. Do you maybe want to ask some questions? <sighs> Don't have to. I'd have to think about really what I want to say because I I would want to be super specific about it. And, That's fine. Um, not just some random question. So I will as this evolves in here. Brittany, do you want to ask anything? No, sir. No? Okay. <laughs> Aunt Shelley, do you want to ask anything? No. Okay. All right, yeah, so. I want to ask I them why they keep saying my name. Like, what is it? Can we ask them that? Why I keep saying your name? Yeah, why oh, yeah. is it continuously saying my name? Let's see if it does again. All right, we're going to start out slow here. If there's anything around us right now, can you come up and touch this device with this red light on it? Once you do that, if you don't mind, then we would like to communicate with you. Again, if, if you're one of the British soldiers, again, this is us paying respects to you and communicating maybe you have something to say maybe people come by here and don't ask you questions you you have stuff to say so that's kind of why we're just gonna sit here for about 30 seconds and and if you'd like just come up here and touch this rim pod just like this you can get close to it whatever you want to do you can just have your presence whatever it is so and also listen and look and hang on the little lights going off which means there's some type of energy around it There it is. Just like the other night. Well, thank you for doing that. Can you stop for just a second or two? Can you stop touching that? Kind of did. It was for a second or two. So Uncle Mike's got this thing on his phone. It's a Morse code app. It'll listen in, try to decipher it. Are you done saying something?
That's very weird. Mm-hmm. There was a noise over this way. This might have been something just in the woods. Can you come back and touch that for us, or do you want to communicate through our spirit box here? I'm going to go ahead and ask you a couple of questions. Are you one of the British soldiers with us, right? It can communicate through yes and no like that, too. Mm -hmm. um, All right, are you one of the British soldiers behind us right now? Oh. Me. Me. What is your name? One of them's unknown. One of them's unknown and one is Michael. Can you tell me your name? I guarantee if we replay that, it's Brittany. Mm -hmm. Move. Where do you want us to move? Away. Alright, you want us to move away so you can touch that again? Can you tell us something that maybe you... Huh? Turn the light out. Tell us something that you want us to know. Are you being quiet because of the car? Alright, we're good. Can you say one of our names in this group? Do you know our name? Leave. Can I ask why you want us to leave? Look at this, like, come on, baby. <laughs> burn. What burned? Me. me. Oh, I wonder. What's your name? Baby. Baby. Babe or baby. Babe or baby. Alone. What the f is that noise? Listen. It did sound like a bell. I find it interesting that it definitely wanted to know, let us know that it was here through that. Mm -hmm. Now nothing. I mean. Maybe something scared at all. It always is saying that uh, good spirits are, are basically warded and pushed away by evil spirits. Evil spirits. So, is that maybe why it stopped? Does it take a lot of energy for them to communicate? So if they are, do they, in a sense, get worn out? Innocence does. Evil's always been built up. There's more evil in the world than there is good right now. So mm -hmm. it kind of like feeds off of that energy. Mm -hmm. Also feeds off of energy. If an evil spirit can def, huh? What's that? The wind picked up. The wind picked up. Let's see if this goes off again. If there's something that thinks we're scared here, make that go off. Come up here and touch that for us. Was that you? Yes. Yeah, he's taking a picture. Cover that light. Alright, 
So I find it a little interesting that there's little to no activity now to this, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Does is that a bell? That's what I was hearing earlier. In the distance, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's very rhythmic. Mm -hmm. So let's do this. It's really not a good thing to do, but let's just try this. We're gonna stand as a pentagram around this. <laughs> no? Okay. Not a pentagram. <laughs> we can do a circle. Maybe a circle. Okay. Everybody join around. Get maybe get a little tighter of a circle, maybe. I know everybody's nervous, but kind of form around this way a little bit. Jesus gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> Can something come up and touch this here? Please. That's the wind. Whatever is here has made whatever was here totally silent. That wind's starting to pick up. Let me do something here. I'm going to turn my infrared light on, okay? Okay. Go. Let me turn the infrared light on. All right, scan around to everybody while, while we're going to do this here. Hold on, it's blurry. It's still blurry. No, we're good now. All right, there's no lights now. You can come up and feel free to touch either one of us on the back of the neck. Come touch the rim pod. Can you touch either my Aunt Pam or Brittany? These two dressed in uh, the white sweatshirts. No feelings? If I'm being at all honest, mm -hmm. it felt like something rubbing against the lower part of my neck. Really? Almost like a cat would. Wind's picking up. Wind's picking up. But it wasn't wind. It just felt like something brushing. All right, can something touch the back of their necks, one of the back of their necks, or even my Aunt Shelly, can they come and touch her neck too? Can you, can you do any of that? I know you guys think this is BS, but there was like a breeze. Right on my neck. Just like felt like something breathed. And it, yeah, it stopped. And there was heat around my ear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's ask a question here. Who just touched my aunt Shelley's neck? <laughs> right off the bat, I did. What's your name? <laughs> ask them if they're still behind me. Oh. There it is. Here we go. You're back. Thank you. You're not supposed to be here. Why are we not supposed to be here? Are you behind Shelly or are you in front of Shelly now? Behind. And that stopped. Stay. We're not going to... We're Mike. The guy's name is Michael. That guy's name is Michael too. So, and the other one is unknown. Yep. 
We don't know who the, the unknown soldier is. We can ask him what his name is. What is the name of the unknown soldier? Yeah. Lewis. Is it Lewis? I know a lot of people are trying to communicate right now. Obviously there's something back here with us for sure now. Did our light scare you? Do you feel comfortable with us right now? No way. A gun. Are you trying to tell us something? You don't have your gun? Are you trying to tell us something right now? Well, they did die in war, didn't they? That is true. Did you die from a gunshot wound? Stay. Stay. It's, can, okay. Did you die from a gunshot? Bullet. Can you say one of our names if you want us to leave? I forgot we didn't really introduce ourselves over here, did we? Do you, do you want us to say our names to you? Coming. Who's coming? Me. Well, what's your name? I feel like you're behind me right now. Are you are you trying to attach yourself to Shelly? Do you want us to leave? I did say bye. All right, we're going to be respectful now and respect your wishes, but can I'm going to we're all going to say bye. 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 Now, can you stop touching that for me, please? Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Good enough for me. Okay. Can one of you take that stick and beat me so it's on me? <laughs> <laughs> I will. Beat the demon out here. <laughs> Give me a log. You I'll beat you? it real good. <laughs> <laughs> my Jesus clips. <laughs> Oh. Well, that's fine. So, we should find out, like, some history on the two soldiers. You know what I mean? The two that's sailors. A good idea. How they, they were the killed. Ones. You know what I mean? They're, that's a good idea. It's probably uh, pretty readily available. That gets me goosebumps. How about that spirit box session there? Was that wild or what? Yeah, that was crazy. It honestly, I thought it, like you guys would think I was nuts, but it felt like something just brushing against my leg. Just one leg, there was no breeze. It's, the closest thing I could say is it was like a cat, which I know it wasn't, just 
rubbing up against me and going. And I, I have the worst goosebumps right now from it. That's crazy. Hey everybody, hopefully you enjoyed this video with my family and I and uh, exploring the Outer Banks and all the haunted places that we did get to go that night. It was really cool to be able to take them with me, but most of all, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. And I think I'm gonna try to do this every year. We're gonna have like a family vacation and I'm gonna try to make sure like we go somewhere that has like a haunted location and every year just take everybody. Um, now, not everybody on the vacation got to go and be a part of the video, but much love. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers. Could not do it without you. So if you don't mind, hit that like button, share this video with a friend or family member, and I'll see you on the next one.